that, my friend, was an amazing day. What a coin. Oh my goodness, just that was absolutely amazing. Day S2 is such an amazing machine. Roll the video. Good morning, everyone. I'm back out today on our favourite permission. And I'm here with a special guest. If you haven't already, go check out the XP video. And yeah, I'm here today with Gary Blackwell. Super, super excited. I'm going to be going on the Deus 2 today. So, so is Gary. So I'm going to be going on the WS6 Master, on the little headphone module. Very, very light, because obviously it isn't the box. And my dad is going to be on the Deus 1. So, you know, me and Gary will be kind of look, looking over signals and seeing if my dad can pick them up on the Deus 1. And if he can't, and if they're too deep, then I need to think about getting a Deus 2 for myself. But yeah, super, super excited. Gary is just setting it up now. So yeah, let's get to it. What a treat you're having Gary with us, it's absolutely awesome. He's got so much knowledge, he's all flicking around. Because when I first got this um, WS6, it was sounding a little bit dodgy, I wasn't really used to it, but he's you know, changed it a lot and it's very, very nice now. Like my dad just ran over a signal, had one signal before this, and um, on his it sounded quite deep, but on this one it was really loud. Just shows you the difference, how much deeper this goes, and all the different settings. So this one sounded quite shallow, but... It's not all it's here it is in here. It's a nice 70, good signal. You can see the ground's a bit more condensed here, so it's definitely something in here. Oh, I can see a little rim. Oh, button maybe. Yeah, old one though, I think. Yeah, I've not one of these in a while. It's just kind of dome-shaped button shank there. There's a little kind of top there. Interesting, I reckon that's definitely got to be a few hundred years old. Lovely. On to the next. Uh, yeah, so this signal is pretty good in the hole. It's about 67, 68, just under here somewhere. Probably have to get my knife in there. Oh, I got it. It's a stone. Oh, that's it. Oh, yes. Oh, look at that. Probably isn't what it is now, but hopefully when I rub this mud off, you'll be able to see some holes. Because I think this is a thimble. Oh, no, wait. Oh, yeah, definitely. Lovely. Nice thimble. Um, I've said this loads, because we do, found, do find quite a few thimbles. Um, not many of this permission, but... You know, the reason why the thimbles are in fields, so they say, is because the farmers, because they never have, used to have gloves back then, they're really good gloves, um, they'd put thimbles on the ends of their fingers to stop um, their cuts getting infected. So, well, that is the story, that's what everyone says, but you find loads of them in fields. I haven't had a silver one in a while, that would be something nice, but nice old copper thimble. It's a whole one as well, which is awesome. Great find. Next signal, this was a very, very loud one again for me, so it sounded really shallow, but it's quite a little bit of depth. My dad was getting it nice and clear. His machine is on 31 frequency on Gary's ultimate program, and I was getting it quite loud, 79, 80, so he was getting a little bit higher, but still definitely would have dug it. It's in here somewhere. Oh, right there, right in the middle. Oh, in here, what can we see? Oh, is that a coin? Please be a coin. Oh, definitely very round. Doesn't look perfectly circular though. Roman, maybe? Nah. I don't know. Is it a hammered? No. Yeah, definitely an old coin. Got some sort of bump there. It's been hit by something. Definitely a very old one, might have been. Oh, yeah. I might be able to get something off there. Yeah, very old one, though. I can definitely see something, I think. But that is the first coin of the day, and it goes to the day is two. Get in. My dad has just called me over. 
He's got a very sweet signal here. He's getting a nice clean 92. But I ran over, it was still very clean, I think it was a 75. But you know, I'm getting used to this machine now and I definitely dig it. And as I was walking over, I've got another signal over there. Just had another little bit of copper, bronzy stuff. I thought it's either part of an old ring, which I'm not really too sure on now, or it's part of an old curl bell. Probably going to go on the urge of curl bell, because even though it does kind of fit around your finger, uh, well, the part of it does that I, didn't, that I found. It's not the whole thing. Uh, I'd say it's more curl bell, because it's a little bit... Not too, not smooth, if that makes sense. But anyway, you've got a nice signal here. Just there. Not bad digging, not bad digging. Right, right in the middle. It's got a nice bit of depth as well. Get all these little bits of soil out. Also over here. Just there. Blah. Oh, all right, I reckon I've got it. so just here oh I think that's it there yeah definitely oh I think I know what that's gonna be I think that's gonna be a nice little spectacle buckle haven't had one of these in ages oh that is beautiful absolutely love buckles especially the nice ones haven't had like an old medieval one for a while I'd say this is kind of post medieval Georgian time Beautiful little spectacle buckle, lovely little thing. I love it when they're complete. Sometimes you find like the half of it, like that, but nice complete one. That is a great find. Dad just dug out that signal I dug out before him. He had a shotgun cell. shell, can't speak. And then he had another signal and he saw it flick out when he got the clod out. And then here we go, nice little spindle well. Don't get many of those down here. Uh, not many uh, patterned ones as well that one is very beat up as you can see but definitely a spindle worse probably medieval post medieval nice there's a point for the dais just before we filmed this we ran over my dad's dais over this and it was very very quiet it just shows on the dais too it's just super super loud very good well give us a second i'll just go yeah. and grab it and we can compare it put yours down because mine's got the speaker sure Cheers. Okay. That's the Deus one. What program we're on the ultimate program? Very, very quiet. You still dig it, wouldn't you? But yeah, definitely, but we switch to this. Very loud, such a difference. Right, let's Double give it a up. dig. As usual, Paddy, I'm your spade man. <laughs> Thank you. There we go. Still in the hole. You can take over from there, my Cool. Ooh, right there. Just there. Got them cartridge perhaps. I think that's a silver coin. No. I don't know. I'm not sure. Do you think? It could well be, couldn't it? Yeah. Oh, it's an old one if it is. Come on, we just want to get the other side and see a load of detail. Oh. Sure, I don't know. Definitely see a head. But is it silver? I think it could be, you know. I, I think, think so. It could be. Definitely head on that side, pretty yeah. sure William the Third. Right. What are we saying? William the Third sixpence, I think? Yeah, when you get home, put that oh, in the dishwasher. Oh, definitely silver. That clean that up a tree. Wow. That is awesome. Just 
just shows you know you need to see the pots of field that we haven't done because we've never done this and could be loads more of these here wow that's definitely one up for the day is two didn't someone have a theory about this part of the field that's true it's because of you isn't it because this part of the field has got a bit of an odd shaped hedgerow it kind of goes yeah. round but uh, now we're uh, here okay. it's squared it off and we're very close to that little productive patch you tend to go on over the hedge so we followed the hedgerow and just look for the that is silver we've just looked definitely for the differences in the hedgerow wow awesome guys let's get some more Wow, what a beautiful silver coin that was. Lovely William III, six months, absolutely amazing. Didn't even think it was silver when we first dug it up. Absolutely extraordinary. I've got a nice signal here. This is one of my dad's ones, so, you know, it's on a dais, so it's probably a bit of rubbish. No, I'm joking, I'm joking, I love the dais. But yeah, quite a nice signal. Getting nice and quiet for him, but for me, on the dais too. Very, very loud. Yeah, um, nice 76, 77. Could definitely be something nice bit of depth as well which is always good to see just here oh is that a big bit of lead i don't know Ugh. oh i think that's it there oh yeah rubbish rubbish cameraman big bit of lead got anything gary <laughs> <laughs> on to the next everyone Guys. Had an absolutely lovely signal here. It's a clean 85, 86 on my machine because it's a little bit lower than my dad's machine on the numbers. My dad went over it. Little line 93 on the XY axis. But on my one, even though his was quite quiet, again, very loud, very punchy. It's in the top though, sadly, but it doesn't really mean anything. To oh, that scared me. That looks to me like a nice liv livery button wow I do like finding these especially if it's a nice one there's definitely something on there that is very cool let's get it out these always give amazing signals that little imprint there oh that is quite a nice one there's silver gilding on there probably some sort of shield or animal don't know what it is I'll give it a little clean off and I'll get you some pictures. That's a nice find. Nice bit of variety. <sighs> Just change fields, change scenery, back on what we call the camping field. This field we've had lots of old silver, quite a few hammers. It's just, you know, the field we go to. But we're not finding too much. And, you know, it's always just a safe option. Walk on here straight away. We're like, oh yeah, let's have a little competition. Gary is just setting back up my machine again because I turned it off and he didn't save it. And believe it or not, cameraman has an amazing signal straight away. We're like, oh, it'll just be a bit of junk. And he pulls out this very, very nice strap end buckle thing. Look at that. I hate to say it, but that is a very, very good find for the Deus one. It's absolutely beautiful. Love you got your buckle there and then this kind of almost oak leaf strap endy bit. So, so nice. Definitely handmade. You can tell it's not cast. It's clearly handmade because it's not all symmetrical and whatnot. Uh, wow. Definitely medieval strap end buckle, I'm calling it. Absolutely lovely find. Wow, all right, watch this. This is my dad's signal, but check out the W16 Master when I run this over here. You can't hear it, but 90, 93, 94 it should be. He came over and said, well, I've got it in this clump and have a look. So I'll do the old, how they used to do it about when they didn't have pinpointers. Oh, I can see it already, I think, should be in there. Yeah, look, I can see some sort of rim there. Looks like a square. Looks quite big, though. <sighs> no! What is that? Oh, 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 oh. 
Oh my goodness. Oh, right. I'm pretty sure that's got lots of pattern on it. Oh, wow. Yeah, what is that? That could be something really special. Look at all that pattern, guys. Nothing on that side, so it must have been some sort of decorative plate or something. Wow, what on earth? Lots of patterns, like stripes. It almost looks like a face there. That's really strange. Wow. Give it a clean up, I'll get you some photos. And if Gary knows, then I'll do a quick video of him telling us what it is. But I doubt that is something really weird. Super cool though. Well, it's only my second kind of proper outing on the day is two. And I think, I know, I've got a hammered. The day is two has done it. So I got it out, my dad was quite far away. It was quite a good signal, it was quite deep. It was all the way down there. And then I got it out in a little clump and I saw a kind of a bent rim and I opened it up and it was a hammered. So I put it back in the hole, but I've honestly got no idea where I've actually put it. Oh, it's back down there. Yeah, look, you can see. I think that was part of the imprint. It's down here somewhere. There it is. There we go. Can't see much, but hopefully yeah, it's definitely a hammered. Oh, no, it isn't a hammered. It's not a hammered. It's a milled silver, I can see. Oh no. All right, where's well, out now? Yeah, it's a milled silver. It's another William III. Another William III. It's a sixpence, I think. I can just see the um, top there from the shield and his head on that side. Wow, look at that. Give it a little clean up and I'll come back. Double silver for the day is two. <sighs> wow, the day is one has done it. My dad called me over. I was digging a a deep hole and he's pretty sure he's got a hammered yeah look at that definitely wow looks good condition as well see the shield on that side and that will be elizabeth the first on that side two dots behind her head there was only one coin that where she had two dots behind her head. We found one of these before. Can't remember what one, but yeah, two dots behind her head. Elizabeth the first. Not sure the exact, but when I get home, I'll look it up and I'll have a precise, precise ID. But wow, three silvers in a day. Awesome. Well done, Deus One. What a lovely hammer, just shows, you know, both Deus 1 and Deus 2 are just brilliant machines. Nice 86, 87 there, very, very loud, very, very good signal. Let's give it a little dig on my dad's machine, this was his signal, he called me over, and because it's getting dark, I want to do a proper live dig on this one, because we haven't done many today, so, get a nice big hole, hopefully, we have to finish it off on another little silver, but each had a bit of silver today. Gary had that lovely William III sixpence. I had another lovely William III sixpence. My dad had that lovely little Lizzie. I'm still not sure what exactly it is, but I will definitely find out. Oh, in the 90s, 91, 92? Well, yeah, I was just on the GoPro, uh, digging it out nicely, and then the GoPro died. I was about to say, you know, not much battery left. We're on the phone now. Nice little close-up because the phone's better at doing close-ups. Cool, so in the hole. Just there. Oh, I can't believe it just died. Oh, 
Oh, right. Oh, wow, well, that's just, I, lo I just love it. I love it so much when that happens. You just flick it out and there's just a coin there. Oh, it's just so brilliant. What coin has my dad got? Oh, definitely see some writing on there. Definitely see a head. Give it a little wipe on the trousers. Oh yeah. This is George II facing left there. You can see the back of his head and it comes around. And then Britannia will be on that side. But a bit of a crusty one, but coin's a coin. Right, I've got two cameras trained on me right now because I have just had a mad moment. I had quite a scratchy signal, a 77, quite a nice high pitched tone. I dig it out, it's quite deep. And then I get my little digging tool in there, but I don't know, I've chucked it somewhere. And I pull out and I see a big silver disc. I look at it and I'm 99% sure it's a hammered. It's an old one as well. It's quite a big one. I think it's an old groat, maybe Edward III, one of the Edwards. And I've put it back down the hole. And right, let's get it out. I just chucked it back down there. Oh my goodness. I hope I haven't clipped it, but this side's gonna be very nice. And this side's his head. I leave it there. Take my gloves off. Wow, look at that. Thank you very much. Look at that beautiful head. That is stunning. Right, let's hope this side's as good as the other side. Oh my goodness. Wow. <sighs> that is stunning. That's definitely a groat. I'm shaking. It's very good condition as well. Oh my. Wow. That is beautiful. I'm going to say Edward III. That's my guess, but something like that. One of the Edwards, I reckon. Very, very old hammered group. What a beauty. Like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful You and me Meant to be